Hello, my beautiful fragrance family. Dustin here, fragrance fan. Go ahead and do me a solid and click that like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell notification. And I'm just going to keep on giving you guys these budget-friendly fragrance reviews. That 40-ish and under dollar range, most of these are way less than that. And a good number of these you can find at your local rack stores. The one I'm talking about today, you might not find at your local rack store. I have seen this house at the rack stores, at Burlington specifically. So you might get lucky. But you will find this on Amazon for under $20, $17 to be exact. At the recording of this of April 2024, you will find Swiss Arabian Raki on Amazon for $17. It's like pure green, like Ninja Turtle green or something. I don't know. The atomizer lid, the cap is super light and cheap. And it's got like a certain contour. So when you try to put it on, it has to be lined up in order for it to actually barely click into place. So don't pick it up by the lid. Don't do it with any of your fragrances, but this one you kind of, it feels like you want to, but it comes right off. So be aware with that. Atomizer itself is a beast. That thing shoots out with some pressure, distance, the amount of juice that comes out is significant. It's fine droplets, very, um, somewhat directional but it's got a, a, a wide enough distribution to do the job let me tell you when you squirt it on yourself if you're up close it's probably gonna drip that's how much comes out so a little bit farther back just so you know this opens up with a heavy dose of lemon ginger and some of that lavender it's mostly lemon and ginger sharp piercing sour lemon and ginger lavender is in there giving it a little bit of sweetness and some and some powderiness and in the mid there's a good dose of crisp sharp green apple the kind that like makes you you feel it back there when you bite into that thing that kind of a green apple with some cardamom and a little bit of geranium a little bit of geranium kind of smoothing out some of that roughness around the edge there with the sharp lemon and ginger and all that and in the base you're gonna get some vetiver there's amber tonka bean and some vetiver but that vetiver really gives it a, a neat little dusty vibe you don't get so much of the grassiness but you get some of the dustiness from the vetiver if you are into it's appeal intense right this is like invictus it's like azara wanted right then you are going to love this because it's really similar as far as being super loud super attention grabbing super long lasting i like it better than this i kind of harped on this in one of my videos um my rating scale has gone up on this since then just so you know but it's because of how synthetic and almost uh nose hair burning it was whereas this one isn't like that it's just as sharp just as loud but it's almost a little bit more polished than that one is it's basically that with an um a geranium twist and some vetiver you do that you get geranium and vetiver and sapil and you'll get something like this so the projection on this is significant it's past an arm's length for like an hour and a half maybe two hours when it reels back in you're left with a solid scent bubble for like five or six maybe seven hours and when all said and done it kind of pumps off the skin about this far or whatever for like nine hours this thing is long lasting if you want it to last the entire day like strong and good after like the five hour mark you hit yourself like two more times boom boom around the neck and you are good the rest of the day you'll smell yourself all day long with this thing even if you don't if you just do like five sprays it's plenty with this thing it's loud and 17 dollars so being that loud that long lasting having the scent profile of that like azaro wanted invictus kind of thing makes this a most of the year fragrance if you're up north it's not going to work all that great in the winter but here in florida since it doesn't get super super cold in the winter this is virtually an all year day or night kind of a fragrance but anywhere else where it gets a little bit cool and you might see some more frost and snow than we do here in florida it's going to be a three season fragrance spring summer and fall but it's good for the daytime or night it's not a classy fragrance it's definitely youthful and playful but it is a compliment beast. I guarantee you, you will rake in compliments with this thing. I did like the first day that I wore this thing because A, it projects far and B, it's a crowd pleasing kind of a sentient A. I mean, what kind of uh, 
for the most part, people really like Invictus Aqua. Um, and this has a lot of that going on in it with more of a Azaro wanted twist because of that lemon and the lavender. And um, yeah, for 17 bucks, it's a really good deal. Overall rating, I'll give it a seven out of 10, which puts this kind of in the hidden gem category. Set profile alone, six and a half. Very good, six or six and a half. Um, performance, pff, I, I mean, I could go up to a seven and a half on this thing just because of the performance. Um, just scent profile alone is a six and a half. Overall rating, I could give this a seven and a half because of how good the performance is on this thing. It's not a beast, but it's tiptoeing on the beast category. And it has gone into hidden gem category, in my opinion. Some of you might think this is too synthetic, might be a little bit too abrasive, but if you like, I'm telling you, if you guys like this one, check this thing out. It's it's better than this, in my opinion. It's better and just as powerful. Maybe, I don't know about more, but it's at, it's every bit of as powerful as that one. And if you know that one, it's appeal intense, you know that it's, it's, it's on the beast low, beast mode level so yeah seven and a half out of ten like i said man it is a sharp sour loud strong piercing lemon ginger lavender push right off the right out the gate man super piercing loud sour and then that sweet apple geranium a little bit of that vetiver giving it that dustiness the the geranium kind of helping to round and smooth off all those harsh edges which this appeal doesn't have in my opinion just makes this such a good universal dumb reach daytime uh whatever kind of a wear not business not gym if you do wear it at the gym spray it like once and you should be good. I wouldn't uh, necessarily take this one to the gym. That's just my opinion. But yeah, that's my final thoughts um, on Swiss Arabians. Raki, with that, I'm out. Y'all be blessed. Take care of yourself always. And until next time.